Welcome guys. Guess what time it is? It's dinner time. And today for dinner, I am making a lentil and farro vegetable soup. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. So my ingredients today, I have some cayenne pepper, smoked paprika, veg, uh, coconut oil. I have some of my collard greens in this bag. I have some tomatoes, strained tomatoes. Faro, that's my grain. I have some carrots, cilantro, onion, lime, garlic, and lentils, the star of the show. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get started getting things cut up. First things first, I'm going to cut up my vegetables. And then I'm going to add my coconut oil to my pot, get it melted, saute my vegetables. Then I'm going to add in my lentils and my farro grain and saute it just a little bit so those flavors can kind of start to absorb into my grain and my lentils and then i'm going to add in some water and my tomato sauce all right let's do this all right guys i have all my vegetables cut up and i realized that i forgot to pull out my bay leaves so i got my bay leaves over here and I'm going to start sautéing my vegetables in probably about a tablespoon of coconut oil. I have my garlic, my onion, my carrots, cilantro, my collard greens, and a lime. I have my salt, cayenne pepper, smoked paprika, coconut oil. All right, let's start cooking these vegetables. All right, I got my tablespoon of coconut oil in my pot. I'm gonna start adding in my onions and my garlic and my carrots and my greens. Guys, if you're looking for a specific recipe, I am not that channel. I just like to use the ingredients that I have, make something healthy, delicious, and nutritious, and have fun in the kitchen. All right, so. I'm going to add in my onion, my garlic. I have a small full onion cut up. I have about two heaping tablespoons of my garlic. And about uh, maybe a third cup of carrots cut up. I have the little carrot chips, so I just had to quickly cut those up. I am smoking. I better turn this down some. Alright, I'm going to wait to add my cilantro while until these cook down some. Alright, I'm going to mix this together well and then I'm going to add in my seasoning. Alright. First, I am going to add in a couple of, probably a good scoop, this is my little scoop of salt, maybe just a little bit more, a half, a scoop and a half, alright, of my salt. I want it spicy, guys, you don't have to use cayenne pepper in yours, so I'm going to give it a good shake of my cayenne pepper and a little bit more of my smoked paprika. Alright, I'm going to mix this around with those flavors together. And then I'm going to add in a couple of bay leaves in here. Oh, it smells so good already. It's been like minutes. Alright, I'm going to add in two bay leaves and just mix it around in there. I want this cook for a couple minutes longer. And then I'm actually going to include my lentils and my farro into my saute 
before I add any liquid just so that it can kind of start to absorb some flavor. And again, if you're looking for a specific recipe or you're a perfectionist, you're on the wrong channel. I just like to think of something to make use the ingredients that I have and make something amazing, healthy, delicious, and nutritious. All right? So, it's just about time to add my farro and my lentils. Let me go grab them and I'll be right back. I'm going to open that center area so I can put it on top of the pan. I'll be back. Alright, I have a couple of my lentils that I'm going to add to the pot. One cup of my brown lentils. Mix this in. I'm going to do the same thing with my farro. I'm going to just let that cook together for just a minute before I start to add in my liquid. Absorb all those good flavors. Oh yeah, I almost forgot, before I add my liquid, I am squeezing in a half a lime into this. I almost forgot. And here it is sitting right in front of me. And I'm going to put in all but a good pinch of my cilantro, because I want to use some for garnish. I think I got all the juice, all that it had to give. Alright, I'm going to put in, I have probably a quarter cup of my cilantro I'm adding to my dish. Stems and all, and I'm reserving just a little bit for my garnish. Alright, I'm going to mix this up as soon as I get this off my hand. Alright. Yum, it already smells so good. All right, it's time to add my liquid. So I definitely want to give this a full cover over. It's going to be a soup, not thick base. So I'm gonna definitely cover it between my water and my tomato sauce. So first I'm adding my sauce and then I'll see what I gotta add as far as water. All right, I'm adding in a box of my palmy strained tomatoes, nothing but the tomato. I'm gonna mix this around, reserve my little box there because I'm gonna fill it with water and see how many times I need to fill it. But first I wanna mix this around. Get that in there. I want to definitely cover this with my water. So, mmm, smells so good. Looks delicious. Okay, I have had to change my pots because my other one was just cutting it too close on the amount of space I needed to get the right amount of liquid in my soup. So I use two boxes full of water plus my actual box of sauce that it came in, right? So, and I'll see what happens. I'm going to put a lid on this and get this cooking on low. I don't want to go crazy about it. I want it to cook and let those flavors get together. And I'll see what happens. If I feel like it's getting too thick, I'll add a little bit more water to it. I do want it to thicken up some. But I don't want it to be so thick that it becomes a stew base. All right, I'll be back. Let the magic happen. All right, let's check it out and see what's going on in here. It's been 10 minutes. I just want to see 
Ooh, can't even see in there. There we go. I just want to see if it needs any more water added, but it looks really good. It's not ready yet, of course. It's only been 10 minutes. We got a good 20 minutes left. I may add some water down the road, but not now. That's good. It's starting to thicken up. And smells so good. All right, and put the lid back on. I'll be back. All right, guys, it's been another 10 minutes. So, so far it's been cooking with my liquid in it, of course, cooking, not just the saute for 20 minutes total. And I am definitely wanting to add a little bit more water to it right now so that I can get it a little thinner than what it is. Granted, I still want it kind of thicker, not a loose soup, but I don't want it to be this thick. And it's still got another 10 minutes to go, so it's just going to be too thick if I don't add some water. So, right now we're going to say two and a half, because this is a half a box of water. So, so far, one box of sauce to two and a half boxes of water. All right? And that should be good. I'm going to put the lid back on and I'll be back. All right, guys, let's check the soup. 10 minutes is up. It's been cooking 30 minutes plus the time that, of course, my saute. So, say a total of 45 minutes altogether. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, yeah. Turn that heat off. Looks amazing. Smells so good, I'm sure. It's going to be a delicious soup. Perfect for a rainy day. I'm pretty sure we're going to wash away. It's been raining literally by the buckets today. My yard is flooded. So why not have soup? All right. I'm going to plate my dish. All right, there it is. Looking delicious. For my garnish on my soup, I'm going to do a spoon of my feta cheese. I would do uh, my Greek yogurt instead, but I don't have it with me. So I figured how about some feta cheese. My sprinkle of my cilantro. And I have some avocado that I'm going to put on top as well. A couple of slices of my avocado. Just because I have it. It's going to make it amazing. More amazing. Guys, don't be afraid to take chances. Make something amazing. Have fun in the kitchen. Healthy, clean, and lean. Remember to subscribe, like, and share my videos. And I will see you next time for another healthy dish. Bye.